Hi Madeline, what's uh, for dinner? What are you making in the kitchen today? Today I'm making a bolle vaille. A bolle vaille? <laughs> a zebele vaille. Oh, a zebele vaille. Uh, what's that? <laughs> a zebele vaille is an onion pie. Very simple. And it's originated um, in Europe. And I know I grew up with Sibylle Valle in Switzerland and in Bern, actually, if you know where this is in Switzerland, it's the capital and they really have a market in the autumn when it's harvesting the Berle, here Berle, Ball, you know Berle, and, and then they make these beautiful braids uh, from yellow onions, white onions, red onions, or they mix it and it's really gorgeous. And then they sell them and one hangs them in the kitchen and whenever one needs a burle, one just twist it and take it off and make something out of it. So today what I will do is I make it in my favorite pans. Not a health craft pan. Yes, health craft. Mm -hmm. So now, um, the first thing um, here, I have it ready. It's a mixture of organic spelt and organic um, millet. And I will grind this in this uh, grinder here, which um, has every grades of coarse and see. fineness. Yeah. That's made in Austria, I think. It's, you can get it online. Yeah, it's a, it. yes. Okay. So I will uh, put this in here. Everything is, of course, organic. So we put it on, on the finest. Here we have this beautiful flower. And what's that flower again? Mayo? It's spelt and millet. Millet spelt. Uh, one could what could put quinoa. One could make a mm -hmm. if people are into gluten free. One can make it gluten free. Here we have real salt and we put the uh, salt from Utah. Put this in mm -hmm. there and mix this a little bit. Great. And then I, I will put some coconut oil and some filtered water. You just kind of do it intuitively. This is now yeah. an intuitive vegan yeah. kitchen. So you just kind of pour a little in there and then mix it up. Yeah, and you put water in as you go. And you add more water if you need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good not to put too much, otherwise... So the flour, water, and a little coconut and salt Quite goes little. in the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have to do hands on. Mixing it up. Yeah. And the spelt is really good for um, having it nicely elastic, kind of uh, the, right. the dough, because right. otherwise you can't really shape it very nicely, easily. A little dab. Mm -hmm. It smells so. good. Okay. Yeah, it's the coconut. And the, and the flour. Mm -hmm. The it's fresh so flour, right. fresh milk, no, no know, oxidizing, it's, no... This flour, we've said it before, it's, it's just... I know a lot of people will have to buy their flour at the store, but this uh, fresh milk flour takes it to a really another level. Mm -hmm. And uh, how well it really works and tastes. 
So now we leave this here. Nice. So the point is to make them kind of fine because we do it stove top, so the whole thing won't be baking that long. So we do everything like this. Great. Okay. So now we have a whole bowl full of yeah. burle onions and this is the filling and then I will show you how to make um, the uh, what would this be a custard or um, they made it <coughs> out of uh, eggs and cream in the past and we of course make it vegan you could use all kinds of different if you don't like tofu you can use nuts now we make um, the filling and this is done with this tofu. So first I will cover the blades with some water. Well, this is in a Vitamix blender. Yeah. So uh, some and water and then a the whole uh, bunch of, how much is that, a pound? Yeah, this is about a good pound. I cut them a little bit. Okay. And this is sage from the garden. Oh, some sage from the garden. Look at this. Yes. Yum, yum, and yum. this just uh -huh. gives it um, this kind of particular Delicious. Yeah. nice taste. And then we have some uh, turmeric, turmeric. Mm -hmm. which we'll put quite a bit in. So I will... Mm -hmm. so. And then a little dab of nutmeg. Some nutmeg. So just a little bit. It's very strong. And then I have the same salt, the real salt, in this container. And uh, I will put some in here. And then we'll see if it needs a little more water or not. This, um, that's about the consistency. I like to have. We are again. We have that nice dough mm -hmm. and we'll shape it round and make it the size bigger than the pan. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's a nice consistency as you can see. One can uh, Lift it. Great. So now you see. So. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you will see if we will fold it over. So that's a, a good size like this. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't stick when I fold it. We put some. These come in handy. All right. They're okay. really good. They're BPA free, rubber, probably silicone, something like this. And so we fold it so we can transport it into this pan. So about the quarter here. Oh, and then, then open it up. Open it up. Mm -hmm. and, then and then open it up again. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. then it doesn't matter if you have a little fold here. It's really tasty, the, the pastry. And then here we stick it together. So That's the inside. So the pan is lightly oiled. Yes. And then you have the, the spelt and millet flour. Yeah, and here. <laughs> and now here's this Look. whole the filling. <laughs> Zwiebelweihe. So this is the Zwiebel mm -hmm. is onion. This is the onion in German. This is mm -hmm. the onion uh, filling. Yes. Wow. Put a little red over there. Mix it up nicely. So you fill it with that, and then you put. Mm. 
make this a little smaller. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. And then we pour this over. Get the. I love this size spatula for the Vitamix. Okay. So we. This is the thick tofu and water mixture with a little bit of uh, sage and turmeric and nutmeg. Great. And you kind of, mix kind it of in. make it so it it goes. Oh, this is going to be really a little a little pepper here. And then here comes the trick. And you put, the put it kind of nicely over mm -hmm. like this. All right. Uh -huh. Make it like a little star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like a little star. And this actually That's it. can now go baking. Mm -hmm. And the way I'm I'm doing this um, is first I do it on the very high for a few minutes uh, till it's it's hot. And then it bakes about like 45 minutes on the lowest flame. So here we are again and it's about 50 minutes later. And it's really so interesting about this dish is like that it probably came over on the Mayflower or something, the recipe. and. It ended up actually in the south of our country here in the US and they still actually make um, onion pies there. Of course it's not vegan but it's it's really interesting seeing how the culture goes and comes and all that. So here it is. Wahoo! Looks delicious! Can't wait to give it a try tonight. Yeah, we made this actually early in the day, so it'll be delicious yeah. tonight. Yeah, so it was um, a really great opportunity to share this piece of culture. And if you make it, bon appétit.